are you tired of managing your project manually? If you manage project, let me show you how you can use Microsoft Team Planner for your project planning as well as to manage all the tasks together with your teams and stay organized. This is a one powerful tool that a lot of people doesn't know when they use Microsoft Teams. They thought Microsoft Teams is just for virtual meeting or just like WhatsApp for messaging. So if you're running a project, then you must watch this video till the end. All right, now we are in the Microsoft Teams. Right now, when you create a Microsoft Teams, right, you always have this general, yeah? Now, if you want to add more channels, right, you can write over here, click here, and then you can add channel, yeah? Channel is like a subset of the Teams. So let me show you how to add this planner function to your Microsoft Teams. So when you have your Teams, assuming that all your team members are already invited in this team, okay, so that they can also access the planner at the same time, right? So let me show you now, when you create a general, right now here, this one is already at a lot of other functions, okay? The one that I'm gonna show you, the planner, will be here, the task, right? So if you are new, right, when you create a new Teams, you will most probably have something like this, just holes and files. So how do you create that planner? All you need is just click this plus button, click here, and then, here, because I always add all this, it will comes up the top. So if you cannot find this, just type task. Okay. It will come out here on the top, right? It usually will come out. So once you click it here, right? And then you can create a new plan because if you never use it before, just come over here, create a new plan, and then call it any names that you want. All right. So now I'm not going to add this. Okay. So let me just jump right back to this, right? The overall uh, teams that already, I mean, I already add here. So you can see that now this is a task and you can see there is another one here, task two, right? So it means that you can add as many task board as you want, right? So if you have, let's say, for example, a certain project, project A is here, project B is another task board here, you can do that as well. My recommendation is that stick it to one so to make it simple so that you do not want your people to go and search which board it is, right? If you have another separate project, just do it like me, right? Let's say another project, just create a new channels for that particular project. So that's why I say channel is a subset for your team. Maybe only three or four people are related or involved in this particular project. Create that channel and then add the task inside that channel so that you don't bother with the rest of your team members. Let's just go in here, the task, and I'll show you how it works. Now, the first thing when you come in here, there is many different types of view, right? The default one will be something like this. Okay, let me click on the list. So these are the normal like to do that you usually see. Yeah, you want to add a task, you can just add a task and so on. The board is this. This is what we call Kanban. Now, if you know about Agile project management, Kanban is a wonderful tool that helps you see everything in one glance. For example, you can see here to do in progress complete. Now, when you come in to your board, when it's brand new, you have nothing of this, right? It's going to be most probably like to do. You don't have in progress, complete, KIV, and so on. It's very simple. All you need is you see add new bucket. So each of these column is called bucket. As I can create here, I just call it test, right? So this is all different buckets. Yeah. And I can add on. So what you do is that the first thing is how it works combined is very simple. Just like assuming that this is like a post-it notes. Each one of these tasks is like a post-it notes or a card. So let's do one, right? Add a task. Okay. So let's do task. Let's say XX. Okay. I can add tasks here. Now you can see right over here and I can click on that. Then I can have a lot other functions, right? 
for example if i want to assign to myself or other team members you can do that as well so once you assign to yourself or to others then automatically they will receive an email telling that they are assigned this task and in here you see you're right now in the bucket okay so you don't worry about that and you have a start date due date so for simplification normal tasks yeah i usually use due date that will do so you can set your due date right set a due date and then you can put in the notes if you want important you can also add checklist if you want to do that right and you can put in a comment and that's all right so you can close it okay so right now you can see that task one what's the date if you assign let me assign see if i assign myself you can see my face over here right so when this is my task now how come on works is that you can have a daily review or weekly review usually if you work on the projects depends on how fast you need it to complete right if it daily work normally we do a daily review so when it comes daily so if i want to start this job right what i need to do i just need to move this over to in progress so that everyone know that i am already working on this particular task xx now once i complete i'll move it right over here so that from one glance basically you can see yeah which one are still i mean not starting means that all the job are still here waiting to to start in progress means it's already in progress right so then complete so this is how you can see all the tasks in one shot yeah now let me show you other cool stuff right now before that let me show you here you can see that the checklist you put in checklist here you you want to remind right someone on what to do and all these things you can put a checklist right over here and it can click show on the card you can see right over here on the card if you untick this you'll remove it right so you can add someone on the checklist and at the same time there's comments you can see comments right over here even though the, the task is assigned to you anyone in your team can come in and leave a comments right over here and you can track all that right so you can see all who actually comments on what so it's a very, very powerful collaboration too as well all right now next i'm going to show you here is charts you can see here in the charts you can basically right comes over here and see what are the tasks that is already started what is right how many is in progress how many is is uh, already started how many is complete and if you have all the people right team members you can see who actually do what job so isn't that so wonderful that you can manage your team easily right try and use it test it out and then let me know how it works for you okay so if you have used this before, if you have any question related to Microsoft Team Planner, do leave a comments right below so that I can help answer to you. Now, other than that, if you want to see it at a calendar view or schedule view, you can see all that. Then you can see which part of the task is uh, so-called, is going to deal on which date. So let me go back to the board, okay? Because I like the board most, yeah? So you see, you can easily see what is in progress and so on. Now come over here. If you want to change the bucket, you can do that. Delete it as well. Yeah. Or you can change the name. For example, you can change the name. All right. Now these are the simple so-called uh, Kanban board. Now, of course, in certain like R, when I coach R&D team, we have different phases and, and so on. So those are more advanced. So you want to learn more about all this, go find out more about Agile project management. So your next step is that go and test it out and let me know how it works for you. And in my subsequent video, I'll show you more how to optimize or use fully of this planner to help you manage your team and projects. I hope this step-by-step -step guide do helps you save a lot of time and become a high performance leader now, i hope this video helps you do follow us or subscribe to this channel because this is the first of the series on how to plan 
and manage your project using Microsoft Teams Planner. So in the subsequent video, we will share with you more tips on how to optimize it and help you become a high performance leaders. So if you like this video, just give us a thumbs up and remember, share with your team so that they know how to use that as well. And my Andrew, I publish work productivity improvement tips every week and I'll see you real soon in my next video.